All right, so for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Turberg 150th scale terminal tractor. Uh, the manufacturer is unknown. Um, and there are two versions of this model. There is one in yellow and there is the white one you see here. I do have both versions. Um, but without further ado, let's get straight into the review. So to starting things off, it's, it's a fairly simple model. Uh, there is a lot of plastic on the model, uh, but there is a... There's uh, some metal parts. Uh, the cab itself is metal, uh, as you can see right here. There's a nice warning decal right here. Uh, I think it is for, uh, it's a warning decal because the cab tilts forward, so I think that's what the warning is for. But here's, you have a nice plastic windshield here. Uh, and you do have, um, I believe these are part of the plastic. Uh, it's to simulate where your windows would be if one would open or close. Um, coming to the front of the machine, you can see the Turberg. Decal right there, you have some simulated lights uh, that do have some painted orange um, indicators on there. Uh, the handrails are plastic. Uh, they can be flexible if you play with them, but they do look good uh, if you don't really play with them a lot. Uh, they're just, it's, they're, they're nice. They could have been metal, but then again, for the price of the model, uh, I'm sure if they were metal, it would have been a little higher. As you can see, there's a nice warning beacon included right there. Uh, and you do have a nice grill. Uh, some grill work right here as well. Coming to the side of the machine, you have some okay um, wheel hubs. I've never really seen the real machine before, so I couldn't tell you if these are what the wheel hubs actually look like or not. Uh, coming over here, you have some filler caps. Uh, this would be, uh, it's either your hydraulic or fuel reservoir. Um, but as you can see right here, there is a nice exhaust, a nice handrail to get up and into the machine. Uh, there is some decals to tell you which what which filler cap is what um, and then come to the back of the machine uh, you do have some nice warning decals right here um, and then you have some nice model air hoses as well uh, and there is some diamond plate silver texturing on the whole top of the machine which is really cool it's very nice uh, and then come to this side you have another tank right here uh, this might be the fuel tank uh, like I said I'm not too familiar with this specific terminal tractor uh, more familiar with the other ones uh, and then you have s some again diamond plated t steps that are painted silver to get up into the cab and then you do have a nice simulated cab door right here as well uh, and you have a nice little vent right there uh, i'm guessing that would be for ventilation um uh, for the cab or maybe the engine uh, and then the one cool feature about this uh, is the cab tilts forward um, there's a nice, just a simple tan engine, modeled very nicely. Uh, it does have hoses and stuff uh, that run to where a radiator would be um, down here. And then one of the cooler features of this model um, is the fifth wheel does raise and lower. Uh, it, is, it can be very sticky on some of the models. I know I have both versions on my yellow one. Uh, the fifth wheel, uh, you have to kind of use a little force and you have to be careful because it is plastic. I believe this whole assembly is plastic. I'm, I could be wrong, but it, it feels like plastic. Uh, so you just don't want to pull too hard in the cylinders if you bring the fifth wheel up too high. will pop out, um, but it's not too big of a hassle to get them back on. Um, but yeah, it's, this is a pretty cool feature that the fifth wheel is movable. Unlike the one that Tonkin released, where the frame was way too long in my opinion, and the fifth wheel didn't work at all. Um, but... Put that aside. I will bring in a container once I zoom out. Uh, trailer. Uh, you would see these mainly at ports and intermodal yards. Um, so you would have it moving a fairly nice size container. Um, and the cylinders. I mean, the cylinders are nice. They do hold. But the um, the one problem is that I've noticed is these containers are completely made out of metal. Um, so. If you push too hard down on it, your fifth wheel will fall down. Um, but here it is, WSI container uh, and container chassis. That's just kind of what it looks like, all hooked up and everything. It's It poses real nice. Um, I'm a huge fan of the yard tractors, so I once I found these, uh, I found them about a year ago. Um, and at the time, they are out of stock till this November, and then they came back in stock, and I purchased a few of them. Um, but this trailer and container will be reviewed separately on the channel. 
Um, but overall, it's it's a nice model. Fifth wheel, like I said, uh, you got to be a little careful with it. Uh, and the rest of it, you know, this is plastic parts. Uh, you got to be careful with it. But if you, you know, you just display your models like I do. I don't really play with them. Uh, it should stay in one piece and not break. Um, but overall, uh, it's a nice model. Uh, you can find them. I know they pop up on eBay. Or some sellers in the, um, I believe it's the Netherlands where this one came from. Or both of them actually came from the Netherlands. I'm not sure where in the Netherlands to be exact. Um, but I know they came from the Netherlands. Um, this one was kind of a kind of a pain to get. My yellow one actually came before this and I had ordered it after this. Uh, but that's just uh, another story I don't really want to talk about and get into. But overall, if you're looking for a 150 scale yard tractor, I highly recommend picking up one of these. Like I said, the name is uh, Turberg. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, it's a nice, it's a nice piece. Uh, the yellow ones, surprisingly, uh, are selling out a lot faster than the white ones. I prefer the white after owning both of them. I just think it looks better with some of the containers and everything. Um, but I mean, it, it's up to you. Color preference is up to you. I would prefer white over the yellow. I just wanted both, just to say I had both. Um, but if I do get another one in the future, which I might, I'd get another white one. I like the white; just it looks a lot better when you can when you put it next to other trailers and everything. But overall, it's a nice piece. Um, but that just gonna end the review here. Um, but if you're if you're looking to buy one, pick one up. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, follow us on Facebook and like us on or ah follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. Both links will be in the description. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I do have pictures of the yellow one up on my Instagram. And uh, I will have pictures up on Facebook of the yellow one as well. I haven't actually posted any of these to Facebook yet. So I will probably post it when I have the review uploaded. But thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.